and oh my god i wanted to share something amazing that um yeah a light bulb moment that happened to me today you know i was reading my books and the word this morning and the story that struck me in an amazing way was the story was the story of saul can you imagine that saul lost his purpose lost his assignment and he died a very sad death and a, and a, a terrible ending because two things that really occurred to me his mindset was a limited mindset or a mindset of limitation number two he failed to focus on his assignment and moved his focus to focus on somebody else's blessing can you believe that so here's the story Saul was anointed with God and he was a king owning the whole kingdom and when he heard or when he, get, he got to know the story about David's um, appointment by God or that David had been anointed by God he got so bitter he got jealous he got oh my gosh guys I was like oh my god all these negative energies he got into his heart and from then on he lost focus of his assignment he started chasing towards how, you, how he could kill David, how he could destroy him, how he could get rid of him. He did not see an opportunity of how he could have worked with David for the ease, or for, for the ease of transferring of power when that time comes. So he lost his family. Remember, he lost his wife, he lost his daughters. He started doing things that he had not done in his life. He started consulting Nenganga, he started going kumashikiro. Simply because he was jealous, he was bitter, he lost focus. And I think his mind had some limitations. He did not see beyond what, what his blessing was because he was anointed by God, remember. So God had a specific, specific plan and a specific purpose for him, ear soul. There was something specific for him. So what's the message for you? <laughs> the message for you is that I realized that, you know, how many times in our journeys or in, especially in entrepreneurship, because that's my space, do we lose focus of what we are supposed to be doing right now for us to go to the next level? And we are keeping our minds, our thoughts, our energy focusing on somebody's blessing, focusing on how we can pull someone down, focusing on how you can get that person not to get to where they need to be and as you do that remember you are attracting those energies into your life so if it's negativity you are gonna get it remember karma comes after you right and the universe always gives you what you focus on remember those principles so you don't want to end up like soul i don't believe you do so i hope you can't be found or don't be found in the same whatsapp group as soul because if you do my brothers my sisters you are losing, you are losing your important currency, which is time. Focus on what's important to you. Focus on what God has anointed and has appointed and what he has got in store for you. Honestly, I just needed to get this off my chest. Anyway, in the comments below, I would also want you to, want you to let me know. Kuti, when you read the story of Saul, what, what do you see? What do you get from that story? I was just fascinated by it. Anyway, have an amazing weekend. I thought, let me just check in. You are blessed and keep pushing towards your dreams and bringing them to life. Lots of love. Bye.